Item number SCP-3932. Index, The Dolphin Manifesto. Object class, Keta. Threat level, Red. Special containment procedures. An audio file of SCP-3932 is to be kept on secure Foundation servers at Site-72, Site-01, and Site-19. Personnel with Level 3 or higher access are permitted to listen to SCP-3932 at any time, provided that no cetaceans are within audible range. The Foundation's current containment strategy for SCP-3932 has been the establishment of diplomatic relations with the three SCP-3932-Delta nation-states. The Foundation currently maintains positive relations with these groups, and has negotiated several points over various treaties. The Foundation is not to intentionally contain or kill instances of SCP-3932-Delta unless they pose an active security threat. Uncontained instances of SCP-3932-Delta are not to create new instances of SCP-3932-Delta through the usage of SCP-3932 exposure. Instances may, however, expose any naturally born offspring to SCP-3932. The three nation states of SCP-3932-Delta are to conceal themselves from the outside world until such a date when their existence can become public knowledge. The Foundation is to attempt to shift global policy to more actively prevent the deaths of cetaceans worldwide, including those that are not SCP-3932-Delta instances. The three nation states of SCP-3932 are not to attack human settlements or vessels within their claimed territory. Description SCP-3932 is a short vocalization with mimetic properties that affects mammals of the Delphinidae family. Oceanic Dolphins When a Delphinid hears SCP-3932, they undergo significant changes, transforming into an instance of SCP-3932-Delta. SCP-3932 has no effect upon humans or animals not in the Delphinidae family. SCP-3932-Delta are physically and genetically identical to non-anomalous dolphins, but possess anomalous sapience. Additionally, instances of SCP-3932-Delta possess Class II telekinetic abilities, allowing for the physical manipulation of objects despite the lack of hands. All instances of SCP-3932-Delta are capable of vocalizing SCP-3932. After infection, SCP-3932-Delta typically expose all other members of their pod to SCP-3932, as well as any other pods encountered. It is currently believed that the first vocalization of SCP-3932 was created by a non-anomalous dolphin, which then became an instance of SCP-3932-Delta and turned the other members of its pod into SCP-3932-Delta instances. Communication with SCP-3932-Delta has been established by teaching instances Auslan, the sign language of the Australian deaf community, and giving them gloves to manipulate. Currently, the majority of SCP-3932-Delta is fluent in Auslan. Translation efforts between English and Cetacean are in progress using an English Cetacean phrasebook. Recovered from SCP-1986. Note, currently, 5% of all SCP-3932-Delta instances are able to fluently read and write in English. Currently, all instances of SCP-3932-Delta have organized into three nation-states, located within the South Pacific. These nation-states are currently in a state of Cold War, which is being diplomatically handled by the Foundation. These nation-states are as follows. The Great Barrier Reef Confederacy, the youngest of the three SCP-3932-Delta nation-states, currently living in the area of the Great Barrier Reef, along the eastern coast of Australia. The GBRC was founded in 1957, following the overthrow of the former Great Barrier Reef Empire. Instances practice rudimentary thaumaturgy. Current estimated population, 25,000. The Great Barrier Reef Empire in Exile, a group that claims descendancy from the former Great Barrier Reef Empire, which was overthrown by GBRC in 1957. The GBREIE is based within the Gulf of Carpentaria 
and controls the northern coast of Australia. The official state religion of the GBREIE bears marked similarities to Sarkicism, but is not believed to have a shared origin. Current estimated population, 20,000. The Dolphins Communist Republic of Indonesia, the oldest of the SCP-3932 Delta nation states, founded in 1941. The DCRI currently controls the waters around Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. The DCRI was educated in Marxist philosophy by an unidentified individual in 1940. Current estimated population, 30,000. Formerly, all SCP-3932-1 Delta instances were under the control of the Great Barrier Reef Empire, which was founded in 1900, and quickly gained control of the entire Oceania region. In 1940, a communist uprising led to the splintering of the state into the Dolphin Communist Republic of Indonesia and the Great Barrier Reef Empire. The ruling class of the Great Barrier Reef Empire was later overthrown in 1957 and supplanted by the Great Barrier Reef Confederacy. The nephew of the former Great Barrier Reef Emperor fled to his family's summer palace in the Gulf of Carpentaria and established the Great Barrier Reef Empire in exile with the stated goal of eventually reclaiming the Great Barrier Reef. The three current nation-states have been in a state of Cold War for the past 60 years, with minor conflicts over territory. Tensions have been lessened due to Foundation diplomatic intervention, leading to the current situation. Foundation involvement concerning SCP-3932 has led to the restriction of the territories of all three SCP-3932-1 nation-states and the prohibition of interaction with humans. While SCP-3932-1 instances previously had limited interaction with humans, these interactions have been mostly concealed, under the cover story of SCP-3932-1 merely having been slightly more intelligent dolphins. Addendum 3932.14 On 2-18-2018, the Foundation's Diplomatic Department received the following letter from the governments of the GBRC, the GBREIE, and the DCRI. To the Foundation. This is a declaration of war. For far too long have the dolphins of the world been oppressed by tyrannical overlords and genocidal humans. All across the world, our people are slaughtered by the thousands, by your kind and we shall not stand for such treatment any longer. The days of the past, in which our kind was brutally mistreated, are over. When you reached out to us, in the earliest days of our people's ascendance, you promised us that things would change and that it would be different. That we would be able to live in a world in which our children would be free. But all we have faced is tyranny and oppression. You bind our people from sharing the gift that lifted us from nothing, and you force us to allow our lesser brethren to remain in their uninspired state. These indignities shall not stand. We are as great of a race as you, blessed with the same intelligence and capacity for reason. Our differences lie only in the flesh and not in the mind. Our day shall come, and it shall be soon. Marcus, President of the Great Barrier Reef Confederacy. Kavulak IV, High Emperor of the Great Barrier Reef Empire in Exile. Flipper Marx, Chairman of the Dolphins Communist Republic of Indonesia.